Thank you for joining us. This is our second video with Leslie. And so we did the right side the last time, so we're working on the left side. And as you could see, um, she does have uh, still a lot of breakout through here, even though she's already starting to clear up again. Um, I love it. I love when they start showing improvement. She does have post-inflammatory condition for the first time, the ones that are you know following us. And so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and, and start extracting. And I'm just kind of checking the skin and see how pliable it is to, to us doing the extractions and it's releasing very well. Okay, I am gonna go ahead and probe that skin. Okay, so I already probed this area and I'm just gonna go ahead and start extracting. And there we go. Thank you so much for liking our video with Leslie. Wow, I was really impressed with all the great comments you guys have put. There's one of our viewers, Vicki. You threw me under the bus. <laughs> I missed one and you caught it. And so I thought that was really funny. Okay, I'm gonna stretch because I definitely want to make sure that these pores are completely cleaned out. And so I'm gonna stretch that skin and Leslie, how are you doing, sweetie? Good. Awesome. When I saw Leslie come in, I was so excited to see her because she's looking so good. And uh, she even told me that she went to church without wearing any makeup. And that makes me feel so excited because, you know, confidence is what I want them to feel really confident with their skin and feel good about themselves. One of the viewers asked about um, facial hair. So I do want to address that. So we do dermaplaning on the skin, but what we don't want to do is dermaplaning where there's still a lot of active lesions because it's not a smooth surface and it can definitely cut the skin. So probably by our third video, we'll be able to uh, do dermaplaning. So dermaplaning is a technical procedure where we remove the dead skin cells and it's great for patients that have acne because the oils actually go up on the hair and cause that bacteria to kind of linger around there. And so when once we remove that, then it doesn't have that capping. And again, air gets in and it starts to resolve a lot of that issue. So thank you for bringing that up. Again, just stretching. And I'm just gonna fill just uh, the area and make sure that. And you could see, yeah, there's a lot of uh, clogged pores in here. So I'm gonna make sure we Okay, so let's go ahead and put some little bit of pressure on here. A little bit of cystic activity. I'm 
Now when you see, I think I covered that last time. Uh, bleeding like this, it's just that those vascular walls have been damaged due to the bacteria underneath the skin. So, I'll make sure it's clean, I'm gonna stretch. And it is. Okay, I'm going to move a little bit in this area here and see. This is hurting. You okay? So I'm putting some pressure on here just to make sure that all of that bacteria there go. so there's uh, blood and then there's that bacteria right in there so we want to make sure we get all of that out so this is the area that we have to be really careful because she's going to be more prone to scarring so we really have to make sure we get everything out and avoid um, any future damage on that skin. Okay. And what I'm doing is kind of like a from the bottom and just do kind of a twist technique. And there we go. All right. So Leslie, this is a little tricky one, okay, sweetie? Okay, ready? Here we go. So those are the ones that we really need to watch out for because those are the ones that can cause some damage underneath the skin. And we want to make sure that we get all that bacteria underneath over there. And there it is. I'm gonna stretch that skin. Okay, so this area's got a lot of active bacteria. I'm 
Um, for those who have asked, we do wash the skin in between or we put a solution in between uh, filming so that the area stays nice and clean. So that's something that we always do. Just want to go back on this one and make sure everything's okay. Okay, I'm going to continue to work in this area. And you'll see probably multiple come out. So she's pretty irritated. Um, so I'm trying to just work on those that are kind of ready to come out. Leslie, you're holding up. Okay, Sweeney. Okay. You're such a trooper. I appreciate you. Okay. I'm gonna put a little pressure on here, okay? Let's see how that I'm just gonna leave that. So when doing extractions, I don't, if the skin has got a, a lot of an inflammatory response, I try to let that skin kind of heal on its own and and then I go back and do extractions and I concentrate on the ones that are really ready. It's just better for the skin and better for the patient. So That's why they'll come back and see me again, right Leslie? <laughs> <laughs> So ask any questions that you would like for me to answer for you. And starting our next video, I'm going to take those questions and actually answer them while I'm doing um, the procedure. So that way, I don't have to repeat the same thing over and over when it comes to the, you know, the skin. And you'll have the answers to exactly what you're wanting me to talk about. Thank you so much for joining me and, and being such an amazing support to Leslie, myself, and the YouTube channel. Please take the time to subscribe if you haven't. Tell your friends about us and look us up on Facebook under Anilsa Skin Essentials Acne Clinic and like us. Again, thank you so much for your support and we look forward to seeing you next time.